Hello and thanks for watching my video. This is going to be a short, uh, pretty sort of tongue-in-cheek look at the final way. Oh, sorry, another way you can make gold on uh, through Guild Wars 2. Um, as you probably, if you've watched my other videos, you'll notice it's all about um, what you can do in game to sort of earn gold. And one of my guildmates actually pointed out there is a very easy way to earn a significant amount of time and it requires a couple of minutes and um, it isn't the most sort of it, it, I didn't really want to do a video but I he did say that um, it was to complete the series you know you need every way to make gold in Guild Wars 2 so this is what I'm gonna do how to pay, make gold in an instant press the O button to bring up the gem store okay go to buy gems okay you then go into your account you will then purchase a number of gems, how much you want to buy. So, for example, you can buy 400, 800, whatever amount of gems you want to buy. Okay, I'm not going to load it, it's going to take too long to load up. So, say for example, I have a thousand gems. I then go to the currency exchange. I then go to uh, get gold or get gems. So, there you go to get gold, uh, custom exchange. Um, here we go. So, uh, say you want to buy, I don't know, 100 gold, that will get just over a thousand gems. There you go, that is gold. Um, I would just like to point out as well that uh, I, I did do this uh, about three months after game launched. I thought I would, could be very, very clever, and I thought, well, if you, the, in a previous version of the trading post, you could see the, the fluctuations in gem price, and I actually bought a load of gems with my gold in the hope that it would actually um, go up. It, it tends to spike uh, to do with events, to do with living story uh, every two weeks would bring out some sort of new items. Um, so it was very handy to, you know, sort of the gem store, the gems would spike a little bit and the idea was to sell them. There is, however, a uh, sort of a hidden transaction. So by buying gems okay say for example 400 gems here cost me 50 gold all right so okay surely then 400 gems would get you 50 gold uh you know put it back let's have a look then sorry 400 gold so i want to do 52 gold that's what i do no if you look at the difference there is a 160 gem difference between uh the transactions of if for you know if you've got gold and you want to get gems it's 400 but then to get uh, you know if you want to get the equivalent back it's going to cost you you know a significant amount of, uh, of gems so that conversion good that's around that's sort of uh, you know I'd say how much is that that's around about 18 just under 20 I think it's around 20 percent um, a difference that you actually lose so Playing this isn't wise. Uh, take it from me, I lost out. Um, I only bought like 400 gems and it was only a small amount I actually lost out on. But do not try and, f you know, like uh, another video explained flipping the trading post. Flipping gems, unless it actually uh, dramatically goes up in price, the, the price of gems, um, I would not do it this way. Uh, I have to say though, the, the amount that you can get uh, gold by as gems is it's very significant now. I mean, if you look, I've got over 400 gold in my bank. Um, so let's look, if you want to get gems, okay, so let's say 2,000 gems. Okay, that's 255 gold, I can buy more. Okay, so 3,000, oh, that's too many, uh, 3,000 gems, 300 gold. I mean, what can you buy? There's so much stuff that if you wanted to do now, I would admit, I have spent money buying Black Lion chess keys uh, when there were stacks of uh, 25 on, on promotion. Um, these days I've got a, quite a lot of gold now. I would ha gladly just uh, trade it in for gems. Um, the amount of Black Lion chess keys I've run now as well. Um, just to let you know, I, if, um, I've bought the, black, the basic cloth rack. That is going to be in a different video uh, why I've bought this cloth rack. Um, I didn't buy any of these. These came free. Uh, they, they were on promotion. Um, be aware that sometimes the Arena Net do do uh, give you freebies for the Black Lion. You know, for the gem store, you can go in and it's, it doesn't cost you anything. 
But again, if we're going back to gold, um, you know, if you get gems, if we go to our hero panel, um, you know, every so often when you get a heavy achievement chest at 20 th every 5,000 uh, achievement points, you will get uh, 400 gems. And it would be worth, you could actually, so 400 gems, you can get 50 gold from that. So it's another way of actually getting gold. It isn't a way I would recommend. Um, it isn't something that I, you know, I'm, I'm going to say that it's the best thing to do. It is another option. Um, I, and I would be aware that, by, you know, you get a lot of players, they can buy their way to, uh, you know, Eternity or to a, to a Legendary. But if you think about it, you know, this is a lot of gold. You know, if you want to buy more gems, I did try and load it up. Let's see how much it costs now. Bear in mind that this will be in pounds sterling because I am in the UK uh, as I load it up. But what we're looking at is how much the real world value is uh, on um, sort of gold in the economy now. And it is pretty substantial. So let's look, take 800, uh, let's take an easy one. 2,800 is 30 pounds in the UK. You can use your own conversion uh, for that. So, I mean, that is going to be now. Gold is worth a lot more than it used to be. And I th it's surprising that that is. I think it's because of the flooding of the amount of gold in there. A lot of people are buying gems. Uh, and the value of gold has shot up um, because of that. So, it's just another option for you guys. The gem store, buying gems, tra converting them, using the currency exchange is an option. Uh, I am not endorsing it this uh, way though, it is, I do feel a bit like cheating, uh, I haven't done it too much, I think I may have bought a little bit of gold with like 40 gems that I had left um, after a purchase, just to get rid of them, uh, as you can see I don't actually like, like having like sort of odd amounts in my bank. So yeah, uh, I made this video because I wanted to cover all the different ways that people can make gold in the Guild Wars 2 economy, and this counts as a way that you can make gold. Uh, obviously, I'm not going to say that this is one of the ways I would endorse, um, because of the reasons I've covered in this video, uh, but I wanted to let you guys know, obviously, I'm covering every type of aspect in Guild Wars 2. So I'm hoping that you guys have found this useful, and I will catch you on the next video. Thanks for watching.